All right, everybody, this is Carl Sugar, and we've got Chase Bowers online, and we also have a special guest named Lawrence Aponte, and he's actually a six-figure multi-store owner, uh, Shopify expert, and we've got him online here with us. And I just wanted to welcome everybody to the call. Uh, make sure you guys can hear me. I just went ahead and hit record right now, so we're gonna be able to record this and give you guys access to it uh, shortly. Hopefully this call won't last too long, maybe like an, uh, 45 minutes to an hour, just depends on how quickly we get through this. And the reason why we're having this webinar is because we wa actually wanted to make sure that we were able to answer all of the questions that we're getting. We're actually getting loads and loads of questions on the, um, the chat feature that we have on our, our front end sales page. And so basically we decided to put this thing together that way we can just make sure that you guys understand. Now, one of the biggest questions that we continue to get as we're getting started with the Shopify app is we're getting questions from people that are not familiar with drop shipping or Shopify stores or e-com, the, the e-com business in general. And so basically, we're just putting this together so that way we can get that out to you guys right away and show you how quickly and how easily it is to use uh, the Shopify uh, app. Now. Shopify has literally grown, it's literally exploding. I believe the last time I looked at the statistics that there was well over 100,000 stores and thousands of stores are growing. And because everybody is moving from you know offline to online, I mean, just think about how big uh, Amazon has grown over the years and think about how big some of these other places like AliExpress has grown over the years. And uh, it's the opportunity is now, and it's a sustainable business that really anybody could get into and easily make six figures a year right away in this business as long as you have some tools and you have some training and stuff like that. And so we want to provide that for you because we want to continue to see many, many success stories down the road. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask uh, Chase. We've got kind of a little outline of stuff that we want to go over in this call. And I'm going to ask him to kind of go over um, how to set up your store. But before I do it, um, I've got Lawrence here and Lawrence is actually going to show you some of the results that he's had. He's going to tell you his story about where he came from, how he started, how long he's been in the business and how quickly he was able to scale his business out to multiple stores that are doing six figures. And these are things, guys, these are things that you guys could do easily on your own. Uh, just got to start somewhere, right? And so let's go ahead and uh, pull the, the uh, actual the, the face of this thing over to Lawrence right now and let him take over and let him tell him st his story. So Lawrence, go ahead and take over. All right. Hey guys, uh, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, great. Um, Lawrence Aponte here. So for those of you that don't know me, um, I've been doing Shopify now uh, since August. It was when I first uh, started it. And um, since then I, I've, expanded and I now have like five stores. Um, I do about like 95% drop shipping and um, show you guys one of my stores here. It's a uh, super quick deals. And uh, basically uh, if you see here in the corner, um, this is from when the store first started was in September um, till March till now. And you can see we've done, you know, about $140,000 in sales. Um, wow. Yeah, here's another one of ours. Uh, this one here, we started in August. This was the very first store that we did. And this is like from August to December. And we did, you know, 137000 And basically, you know, we just, everything has been drop shipped. So we, you know, found a supplier overseas um, with a cheap item. And we were able to utilize... Facebook advertising and sell the products directly on Facebook. Um, yeah, and that's, I mean, that's pretty much the, the gist of it. So, I mean, it's, it's so Lawrence, just to kind of go into that a little bit deeper too, is um, you started in September or when did you say you started in August? On yeah, August yeah, August um, was when we first started, August 3rd. August 3rd, okay, yeah. so you started the store on August 3rd and it looks like, you know, looking, the cool thing about, the back end of this, this is it guys too, this is the back end, this is like your area of the Shopify store where you can actually see like your sales results, you can do like customer management, and stuff like that. Now if you notice it gives you tons and tons of detail back here, like I'm looking at like where's the number one country where most of your sales are coming from or most of your, I would say like your, your traffic that's going to your store 
showing a graph, that graph, that beautiful graph right there where it shows like, like I'm looking at him saying, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, okay, August 3rd, he started, he made some sales, he had some small wins. And All then right. somewhere in like the middle towards the end of August, you actually just started crushing it um, and having major ends, wins. Let me ask you, Lawrence, when you first had your first thousand dollar day, how did that feel? Wow, I was so ecstatic. I could, I just, I mean, I couldn't believe it. I went from literally, you know, like having no sales. I mean, just starting brand new, you know, literally like within the first couple of days. I mean, you can see here we had like $23 on the first day, you know, the second day $130 and it just continued to grow and grow as I, you know, spent more money on advertising. And then How before much, you know it, I mean, it was like thousand dollar days were nothing. And it was like, look, yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at that. Like I'm, I'm thinking to myself, so I'm looking at that. I'm saying, I'm seeing like you open the store and like 16 days later, you had 16 or 17 days later, you had your first thousand dollar day. Um, how much time did you, did you spend actually building that store? Um, the process at first, I mean, was kind of, uh, difficult. I mean, cause I, I was, I was like finding, um, products on a site called AliExpress uh -huh. and, um, I mean, it was just, it was, when I say difficult, it was just hard because it was like a, a, a long process, just moving the products over. Mm -hmm. And um, so it was kind of time, time consuming at first, but once, you know, I moved a few products and then I started selling a few things, um, you know, it didn't take very long to set up a store at all. It's kind of like driving a car. Like the first time you try to drive a car, you, you don't know how to push the clutch in. And, you know, if you're driving a stick, especially you got to learn all that stuff and get a feel for it. And you have to get like burn that muscle memory uh, to learn how to do it. And uh, kind of too, to give you guys that are live on here, to give you guys like a backstory of Lawrence um, and even Chase Bowers, um, they're actually in a mastermind together. And Lawrence, uh, part of the biggest reason, like he just, he just said that the research end of things took forever to find the products and stuff like that. And uh, Chase kind of surveyed Lawrence in the mastermind and said, you know, what's what's your pain points, man? What are the things? Because because Chase is more of a developer. And he's like, what are the areas that, you know, you're <clears throat> you're struggling with or what are the things that take you forever? And so one of the things that took him forever that just popped out was the fact that you'd have to open and click every single vendor to see if they even accept ePacket. That was like the first problem uh, that was a, an easy solution to figure out. The second problem was cutting and pasting. If, uh, Lawrence, if you don't mind going back to like an AliExpress store and just going to a vendor. Yeah, um, sure. Hey, and Carl, let's, to, I don't want to interrupt here, but let's take it back to a very, very, very high level where we are talking about just like what is drop shipping. It, it, we shouldn't, it shouldn't take long, but just yeah. like, you know, what is it? Like what, and why do you do it? And what's the benefits? You know, a lot of people think you have to order bulk order products and store inventory. So kind of what are some of the benefits of, of drop shipping and why did, would you do it? And kind of what is it just in a general sense? Are you asking me or are you asking Lawrence? Uh, I'm asking, yeah, Lawrence, um, if you'll just take a moment to kind of explain. Yeah, drop shipping is basically where um, it's it's sort of like an, an arrangement where there's a supplier where, in this case, we'll use AliExpress as an example. AliExpress has, you know, tons and tons of products. So these 